Hi, this video is a part of data visualization with Python playlist. In this video, I'll explain interactive 3D scatter plot using Plotly. This notebook contains different types of visualization, but we are interested in 3D scatter plot interactive visualization. But before that, we are using this Plotly dot offline because we want to uh, we want to visualize these interactions inside this notebook. For that reason, we are importing this plot function, I plot function, and init notebook mode. And then we are also importing this plotly dot graph object as go. We'll be using this graph objects uh, to plot the 3D uh, scatter points. And then we will be uh, using this go object to generate the figure. And then using this I plot, we will be interacting th that figure. But before that, uh, we are saying that uh, the notebook connection should be true so that we could do the we could see these, these interactive visualization inside this notebook and we are also importing this display function which will be which will be using in the next video for uh, folium based visualizations okay let me go to this interactive 3d scatter plot okay what we are doing is we are importing this data set containing x y z these are three dimensions and grade is the point uh, for each of the point in three dimension we have this grade value and this tonnage value, this tonnage value is not important, so we'll drop it and we'll only extract out this x, y, z, and grade. Using this graph object, the function scatter3d will be used to generate these 3D scatter points. And these are interactive 3D scatter points, but these were actually generated using this graph object. And this function basically takes an argument, the x values, y values, and z values, and the mode for the scatter point, we are using marker as a mode, and then specification for the marker where we are we are specifying that the size of the marker should be five and the color of the marker should be dependent upon the grade values if the grade values are less so the color should be uh, light and the grade if the grade values are greater the color should be brighter so this is the color bar which represents this scheme okay and we are also saying that the minimum value for color should be four and the maximum value should be uh, the maximum value should be four and the minimum value should be zero so as we can see in the color bar that the color bar that the minimum value is zero and the maximum is four okay so this is kind of a four dimensional plot where we are uh, plot where, where we are having the information for four different dimensions but the fourth dimension is basically a color dimension then what we will be doing is we will be basically uh, adding this plot scatter this plot scatter basically contains this 3d scatter points and if you want to add lines or any other plot above this uh, inside this uh, scatter points if you want to do any other visualization we would also do that but finally we will uh, list all of these uh, go object plots inside single list and we will call this list plot data for now we have only scatter plot scatter points so we have listed this single scatter points inside this list and we will call this list plot data then we will define this layout for the figure that we want to create and the layout is just uh, uh, just a basic uh, margin like wh where should we uh, where should we place this figure this is the layout for the figure simple layout okay then what we will do is using this graph object we will create the figure using this function figure by giving the data the data contains all of the uh, plots uh, and in this case we are having only this 3d scatter plot so for that reason uh, we will be having this plot data in the data containing only the scatter points and the layout uh, variable containing this layout uh, for this graph object. So once we have applied this function, it will return the figure object and we have stored it in the variable fig. And then we will use this iplot function of the plotly.offline that we have imported uh, to generate this interactive plot, uh, this file uh, containing this interactive plot uh, with extension of .html. And we can also see using this iplot function, after applying this iplot function, uh, this interactive visualization inside this notebook. Why is it possible? Because we have uh, said in the start, the connection of the init notebook must be true. Okay, I hope so. It makes sense now. We could do all kind of visualizations. We could just zoom in, zoom out. We could rotate it, and uh, there are a lot of things that we could do. I think so. It's really awesome.